What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a ROM called CR Droid 7 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Here, you're getting the latest, which is Android 11 and CR Droid version 7. So, without further ado guys, let's get into the ROM. As you can see, double tap to wake works. The fingerprint working really good here. Unfortunately, double tap to sleep on the home screen does not work at all. You know, maybe get another launcher. Talk about launcher, guys. The default launcher apps here is CR Droid and the Pixel. If you chose CR Droid, then you're gonna have this problem like I did. So make sure you go back and change it. So all you gotta do is just swipe down, go to your settings, and just go to default apps and just change the Android home to the Pixel or whatever launcher you want to use and that seems to fix it. You already know, Pixel launcher comes with a Google Now feed on the left. Guys, 90 frames per second, 90 hertz are working here real, real solid. No frame drop whatsoever, so that's us. And since this is based on the newest Pixel, we have the screen recorder, the VPN by Google One, and nearby share shortcuts on the quick settings. Now we go to Wi-Fi and networks here. We can see that Wi-Fi calling is off, so make sure you turn it on. We go to Bluetooth, everything seems to work great, so no problems whatsoever. Going on to battery guys, this ROM is a beast. As you can see, I was getting like seven hours of screen on time every day. Okay, let's go to display now. So under display, we have the normal with dark theme, you know, your live displays, your styles and wallpaper. Here, you could choose, you know, from the font, your icon, your color, your shape, and even your wallpaper. So here's where you would go for that. And we also have all these other options available too. Let's move on to security guys. So here we can see we're in the latest security update and we have the screen lock, we have the fingerprint, we have face unlock, which I know a lot of you guys like, and we have the smart lock. So moving on to the OnePlus setting here, we have a high brightness mode, automatic high brightness. We also have the lock so you can set it to whatever, DC dimming and your panel mode, but we only have a couple of options here. So choose whatever you like. If we go back here, we can see the notification slider options. We have your top position, middle and bottom. And most importantly, guys, on the bottom, we have the system strength for your vibrator. So go ahead and adjust accordingly. If we go to status bar here, we could change the icons that you guys don't like. You got your clock. You can set it to the right, center, left, or just hide it. If we go to clock and date here, we have the option to change the AMPM style to either small, normal, or hidden and even the date. If you click on it, you can change it to small, normal, and hidden. And we can even change the position and the day style. We also have the option for a 4G icon instead of LTE. Uh, we have voice over LTE icons and the voice over Wi-Fi icon that you could change. And you could also override your voice over Wi-Fi. You also have your battery customization here. You could choose how your battery style. So I have solid and I'm gonna change it to dotted circle. And you can even have the percentage when charging and the battery bar on top of the status bar. So look at, take a look at this guys. So if you turn it on, you'll have a battery bar on your status bar, but I'm gonna turn it back off. We also get the tap to sleep on the status bar. You have your brightness control and your quick pull down. We want to quick settings real quick. Here we have all these options that you guys can adjust. But I'm just gonna turn on battery to touch. And under miscellaneous, uh, we do have the battery icon. So as you can see on the top right hand side, I have that on. And we also have the clock, the brightness slider, and everything else that you might need that you want to customize on your status bar. And we go to lock screen. Here we have the status bar, the lock icon, the weather, weather service, your charge animation that you could choose from these options, and your battery info. If we go to gestures here, we have the tap to sleep on the lock screen. We have fingerprint authentication vibration. 
and if we go to navigation these are the options we have you won't find your navigation options here so you will set them up at the beginning of the ROM when you're setting it up here we have your touchscreen gestures as well we go to buttons here we have your long press power button for the torch your screenshot your answer the call control playback and reorient your volume if we go to sound here we have charging sound screenshot your volume steps and your volume panel and and that's pretty much it for the CR droid settings so moving on to one thing I want to show you guys the ROM comes with a pre-installed camera but I installed the G cam so you already know install a different camera when you can now if we move on to one thing I wanted to show you guys was matches now matches seems to be working uh, I installed it it looks like I installed it but for whatever reason it wasn't properly working to hide some of the apps let me show you what I mean so if I hide these three apps right if I click back that means that those apps should be hidden but if I go back they're not checked so that means they're not hidden so that was one of the problems I was having with matches as you can see I also have a module to hide the props config and I'm guessing it's not working it might, it might be just me that I didn't install it correctly but as you can see uh, it's not passing the test safety net and if you try to uh, use any apps that you know check for root like for example one of my favorite apps here it would just spin for a while and then give you this error and you won't be able to get over that so I'm pretty sure that some of the other apps that require or look for root are not gonna be working here but see everything seems to work great guys um, I think from all the ROMs that just came out that are based on Android 11 this is the best one so far great battery great performance matches almost works and uh, killer battery I mean what more can you ask uh, guys with that being said though I really appreciate you guys thank you for all the likes thank you for the subscribers and I'll see you guys on the next video bye